In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to budgeting, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways like our Accounting Rocks product line. If you're not crunching cords using Excel, you're doing it wrong. A must-have product, because the fact, as everyone knows, of accounting being one of the highest forms of artistic expression means accountants have a requirement, the obligation, a duty, to share the tools necessary to properly channel the creative muse. And the muse she rarely speaks more clearly than through the beautiful symmetry of spreadsheets. So get the shirt, because the creative muse, she could use a new pair of shoes. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. All of the following are necessary for budgets, but A, attainable goals, B, communication with employees affected. C, evaluations of budgets and performance. D, awareness of limitations of budget. And E, all budgeted amounts must be spent to ensure that budgets aren't reduced for the next period. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. All the following are necessary for budgets, but. So we're looking for the exception to the rule, all of them being applicable except which one? A, attainable goals. So attainable goals, all the following are necessary for the budgeting. I would think attainable goals is something we want. So I would think that would be uh, there. B says communication with employees affected. So A, since A is there, I'm going to cross it out. Communication with employees. Again, you would think that's something that you'd want to do, but maybe it's not mandatory. I, I would keep that for now. C says evaluations of budgets and performance. And that's kind of what we do in the budgeting process. So I would think that would be reasonable. D says awareness of limitations of budgets. Um, we probably want to have that as well. And I'll just keep that for now. But E says all budgeted amounts must be spent to ensure that budgets aren't reduced for the next period. And that doesn't sound, that sounds a little kind of weird to, to do that. That might be actually done in practice, but it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't seem like the proper way of doing things. So let's go through this again. We'll read through this and uh, go through them one more time. All the following are necessary for budgets, but. So which one isn't necessary? Now, some of these we might say, hmm, I'm not sure if it's totally necessary or not. Uh, but we're actually looking for the one that doesn't fit and possibly the one that would be improper or not the most proper thing. So communication or B says communication with employees affected. You could argue it's not necessary, but I would think that'd be nice. It'd probably a good, be a good practice. I would think that would be part of it. C says evaluations with budgets and performance. Uh, you probably want to evaluate the budget to the actual performance. I would think that would be part of the budgeting process. D awareness of limitations of budgets. Again, maybe not necessary, you can argue, but yeah, that would be good to have an idea of that to put the budget in place. E says all budgets amount must be spent to ensure that budgets aren't reduced for the next period. That doesn't sound proper, uh, the proper format. So of the ones that don't really apply, this one sounds like kind of one of those things that might happen, but th those are one of the problems that we need to be aware of, not one of the necessities of budgeting. So final answer we're going to say is E. One more time, all the following are necessary for budgets, but E, all budgeted amounts must be spent to ensure that budgets aren't reduced for the next period. Next question, which is not a result of following a good budgeting process? A, better decision-making process. B, better evaluations. C, improve coordination with business activities. D, guaranteed future profits. And E, better communication of management's plans. We'll go through this again using the process of elimination, which, which is not a result of following a good budgeting plan. A, better decision-making process. Uh, we would hope so, that maybe that's, pro I mean, that's kind of what we're doing here. So B, better evaluations. 
we're going to be comparing the budget versus the actual. So I would think that that would improve our future in value evaluations, hopefully. C says improve coordination with business activities. Eh, I, probably, I would think so. I'll keep that open for now. D says guaranteed future profits. Obviously, we're going to hope to budget for future profits, but does it guarantee future profits? I don't know. I'll keep that open for now. E says better communication of management's plans. Hopefully, the budget does that. So I would think that the budget would do that. We'll keep it with C and D. Go through this again, which is not a result of a good budgeting process. Either C, improve coordination of budget activities, or D, guaranteed future profits. Now, you'll note that many of these have like better decisions, better evaluations, better this, better that. And then one of these items has this word guaranteed. So if you see any like ultimate word in an answer like that, that says this is always the case, this is guaranteed to happen, this never happens, or this always happens, it only takes one little time for that not to be a true situation for that entire statement to be incorrect. So you want to be very careful whenever you see those absolute words, probably the case where uh, that might be an answer in this case, because nothing's guaranteed. You can have guaranteed future profits, anything. You can ask anything and say, well, this guarantees future profits. Well, no, it doesn't. Nothing, nothing guarantees future profits. So basically, you don't even have to anything after guaranteed is pretty much not uh, <laughs> it's going it's to disqualify that. So we're going to go with D here. Final answer which is not a result of following a good budgeting process, D, guaranteed future profits.